With the next Zelda game in development, I decided to have a look again at the original Breath of the Wild from 2017, which has become the most commercially successful Zelda game of all time. With its open world freedom that is one of a kind, it might be one of the best games ever made. Looking at the graphics, the nice scenery, the characters and the story, one might describe Zelda as an innocent game for children and adults alike. Observing this apparent innocence, I asked myself if there was more to the game than just fantasy. As art tends to communicate with its audience, my question was, what is the hidden message in Zelda Breath of the Wild? What was really striking is that in contrast to other Zelda games or open world games in general, Breath of the Wild sets a strong focus on weather and the changing climate as to present a living and changing world. Therefore I decided to use eco-criticism as to analyze the game with a sharper focus on the omnipresent climate crisis that we are facing. So I start with the question, what is the climate crisis and how is it caused? Extreme heat looks much different today than 50 years ago. NASA and the NOAA recently announced that 2020 year-to-date global temperatures are the second hottest on record, just behind 2016. Greenhouse gas emissions are changing the atmosphere, causing our climate to warm to a level that modern society has never experienced. Greenhouse gases trap heat and make the planet warmer. During the Industrial Revolution, people started to build machines as to make production and life easier. Human activities are responsible for almost all the increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere over the last 150 years. Let's have a look at the United States as an example. According to the EPA, the transportation sector generates the largest share of greenhouse gas emissions. These emissions from transportation primarily come from burning fossil fuel for machines like cars, trucks, ships, trains and planes. Over 90% of the fuel used for transportation is petroleum based, which includes primarily gasoline and diesel. Electricity production generates the second largest share of greenhouse gas emissions. Approximately 63% of the electricity in the US comes from burning fossil fuels, mostly coal for electric generators. What are the consequences? The planet's average temperature started to climb steadily two centuries ago, but has rocketed as consumption and population has risen. Global heating means that there is more energy in the atmosphere, making extreme weather events more frequent and more intense. Greenland has lost almost 4 trillion tons of ice since 2002. A third of the Himalayan and Hindu Kush ice is already doomed. Scientists think that the changes in the Arctic may be responsible for the extreme heat waves and floods in Eurasia and North America. Sea levels are slow to respond to global heating, so even if the temperature rise is restricted to 2 degrees Celsius, one in five people in the world will eventually see their cities submerged, from New York to London to Shanghai. How is the topic climate crisis shown in the game? If we assume that Zelda has a message, I will explain now how it is linked to the climate crisis by the use of the antagonist. Similar to many previous Zelda games, the ultimate villain of the story is Ganon. In contrast to the other games, the antagonist doesn't appear in his human form, but as a form-changing calamity, as an it. The calamity Ganon is known as a primal evil that has shown up throughout Hyrule's history. 10,000 years before the events of Breath of the Wild, it appeared to ravage the world. In preparation for this, the Sheikah built a massive army of mechanical protectors called the Guardians to aid the hero and the princess. Four massive machines, known as Divine Beasts, served as the centerpiece of this army. With a collaboration between the Sheikah and the Hylians, Ganon was sealed beneath Hyrule Castle for 10,000 years. However, 100 years prior to the game, a prophecy warned of the return of the Calamity Ganon. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics the Divine Beasts were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Hoping to prepare in the same fashion as their ancestors, the people of Hyrule began working to locate and excavate the Divine Beasts and Guardians. 
Four champions from each of the Hyrule races were chosen to pilot the divine beast of their people. Meanwhile, Zelda was determined to awaken her power and prayed at the three springs of the goddess of Hyrule, but her efforts were met with failure. Minutes after she had finished praying at the Spring of Wisdom, the Calamity broke its seal and rose up around the castle. To the surprise of everyone, it managed to corrupt the entire Guardian Machine army with its mallets and turned them against Hyrule. Even the Divine Beast, with their pilots killed, fell under the control of incarnations of Ganon's mallets. With the machines turned against them, Hyrule was laid to ruin and Link grievously wounded, requiring him to sleep in the Sheikah healing chamber for 100 years. Princess Zelda went to confront the Calamity Ganon on her own and managed to seal it once more, but this also required her to become a prisoner to maintain the seal. After the complete destruction of the Kingdom of Hyrule, Ganon continues to use the machines as to destroy the other societies as well. How does Ganon plan to achieve this goal? It manipulates the divine beast Varuta to produce more and more water as to cause a flooding in the Zora domain. It traps the Rito in their village, preventing them from flying by the use of the divine beast Varmeadow. The rising temperatures caused by the divine beast Varudania are a threat to the Gorgon city, which has to shrink more and more in order to survive. In addition to that, the town of the Gerudo is in danger because of the divine beast Var Naboris that causes deadly thunderstorms. By taking over the machines, Ganon causes these natural disasters in order to create a world of chaos, destruction and barbarity. What can we do against it? The player takes control over Link who has been defeated by Ganon before. This time the player can regain control over the machines one by one as to stop them in their path of destruction. By the help of his old friends he has to recalibrate the machines to avoid the disaster. Link and the player have to use their logic and skills as to solve the puzzle and defeat the malice inside the machine. Traveling around the world, regaining control over all the machines and setting them back to the real purpose, Link and the player are ready to face Calamity Ganon in the end. With the help of the machines, his friends and the skills that Link has gathered throughout his journey, he is able to defeat evil eventually. The Cataclysm will be evaded again and Hyrule can be rebuilt. But how does this help us with our problem? What can we do? Based on what we learned in the game, we could also focus on the machines that are responsible for natural disasters. Looking at the research of the EPA, trucks, ships, trains and planes, electric generators and production machines powered by fossil fuels are the main source of carbon emissions. Similar to the Divine Beast in Zelda, these machines supported humanity for more than a hundred years. But like the Divine Beasts in the game, these machines eventually turned against us and they need to be recalibrated or the climate breakdown might be inevitable. Looking on a global scale, this task seems to be impossible. The player might experience a similar feeling when he sees a divine beast for the first time. But after figuring out a way inside the beast, and by the use of logic and courage, Link is able to regain control of one beast after another. Zelda Breath of the Wild gives us courage that our generation is able to tame the inherited machines as to make them climate friendly. According to the coalition of scientists from Scientists for Future, the use of coal should be nearly ended by 2030, while the burning of oil and natural gas should be reduced simultaneously until all fossil fuels have been replaced by climate neutral energy sources. This change means, among other things, we will introduce renewable energy with new courage and the necessary speed. We will consistently implement energy saving measures and we will fundamentally change our patterns of nutrition, mobility and consumption. Similar to Link, we have to find the courage to face these machines. We need to use our logic to regain control over them and defeat the malice that has taken control. Like other art forms, also Breath of the Wild has a message that is projected into the player's minds who return to the real world with a slightly altered perspective, whether conscious or subconscious. 